We are on our 915, which is our 6.4 hearing on account and proposed assessment for 7137 East State Highway 20, Lucerne, California. And it looks like we have, uh, yep, we have uh, Director DeLeon on. I'll give the floor to you, sir. Sure. Thank you very much, Board. Uh, I'm very pleased to introduce William Fox. He's one of our program coordinators with uh, Water Resources. Uh, he's taking uh, this program uh, under his wing and, and has learned a lot and, and um, uh, is really uh, doing some great things here uh, with our department and, and for our community. And I'm excited to uh, introduce him and he's going to uh, 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 introduce this item. And, and um, uh, William, thank you very much and we'll look forward to your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Here, give me a second just to share my screen. Oh, um, we need to swear you in real quick, uh, Mr. Fox. So, Johanna, she's the, she conducts the swearing. Okay. With your right hand raised, do you solemnly swear that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Thank you. Um, does everybody see my screen properly? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, so good morning. Um, my name is William Fox, and I'd like to begin here um, just with an introduction. So I'm a, I'm a water resources program coordinator uh, within the department, and uh, my responsibility is lake bed management within the department. Um, and uh, upon completion of an abatement, uh, which happened on subject property, a 7137 East State Highway 20, uh, Lucerne, California, 95458. Uh, we are required to give an account and proposed assessment for the work that has been conducted and if approved, uh, will be reported as a lien against the property. Um, so here I'll start off with the property description. So the owner on title is a Virgil and Audrey Skinner on the property address, like I stated, is a 7137 East State Highway 20, Lucerne, California, 95458 on um, the APN 006-023-03. Um, and is zoned a uh, suburban reserve uh, district, um, and it is a improved parcel with a lake bed structure. Um, now on January 21st, 2021, um, the property was found to be in violation of the Lake County Code and the lake bed encroachment lease. Um, the lake bed improvement was in a dilapidated state consisting of broken or missing planks, pilings, um, and scattered debris. Uh, pieces of the lake bed structure were actively falling into the lake. Uh, there issue, these issues violate both the Lake County Code, Chapter 23, uh, Shoreline Ordinance, Section 13.2, uh, Maintenance, Repair, and Removal of Improvements, and also the Lake Bed Encroachment Lease, Section 13, uh, Maintenance and Repair. Um, the, these issues, uh, because of these issues, uh, a violation letter was sent to the property owner um, uh, via certified mail, um, was signed, um, received um, on May 18th, 2021, um, notifying the property owner to uh, these issues and giving them time to rectify these issues. Um, by September 28th, 2021, uh, no progress had been made to uh, come into compliance. And as such, a notice of nuisance in order to abate was uh, posted on the property and sent to the owner again, certified mail, and uh, we did receive a signed uh, receipt back. So here's some uh, pictures of the uh, lake bed structure um, during our initial investigation. You can see there on the left, there's a lot of scattered debris uh, coming from the structure. Um, and then on the right, you can see some of the broken missing pilings that are um, falling into the lake. Here are some more pictures of the structure um, uh, exemplifying the dilapidated and unsafe condition. Um, it was determined that the structure had the potential to impact safety, navigation, and water quality. Um, and I would also like to state that it's a huge responsibility to own lakefront property. Um, it abuts, lakefront property abuts quite possibly the biggest asset to the county, which is Clear Lake. Um, it provides around 60% of the drinking water for our um, residents. Uh, endless recreation uh, opportunities for our visitors and our residents, harbors our listed species of fish, the Clear Lake Hitch, along with numerous populations of resident and migrating birds. Um, 
and also is extremely culturally significant to our indigenous communities. So we did try and contact the property owner, like I stated, of Virgil and Audrey Skinner multiple times via certified mail and posting on the subject property and received no reply over the uh, nine month period that these issues persisted um, until February when the abatement was conducted. Um, I would also like to note that uh, the Lake Bed Encroachment Lease, which was signed by the property owner and by all property owners um, on Clear Lake gives the right to the lease soar, which is the county of Lake to go on the lease premises and all improvements for any purposes associated with the rules, regulations and policies of lake bed management. A determination was made to move forward with the abatement um, due to the issues persisting on the property and the owner not be willing or able to move forward uh, to contact the apartment and address the issues. So we requested an inspection and abatement warrant, which was issued by the County of Lake Superior Court judge to allow our Class A uh, licensed marine contractors to be on site um, and abate the issues persisting. Um, you can see here abatement uh, was started on February 23rd, 2022. Um, our contractor, Lake Marine Construction, responded to our RFQ 21-13, um, working to abate these issues by removing um, the existing structure, um, which was falling into the lake and removing the broken um, failing pilings, which were uh, potentially serving as a navigation hazard. Um, here you can see the before and after pictures. Um, in both pictures, you can see uh, the buoy in the left of the corner, kind of noting that it's the same um, angle on both uh, images there. Um, and uh, abatement was completed on February 25th, 2022. So I'd like to end the presentation um, with our recommendation on February 25th, 2022, compliance with the notice of nuisance in order to abate was attained. Um, the abatement costs were $17,345. The administrative costs were $1,172.56. Uh, staff is recommending the Board of Supervisors confirm the assessment of $18,517.56 and direct staff to record a notice of lien against the property. After recordation, it shall be delivered to the county auditor. We shall enter the amount of the lien on the assessment roll as a special assessment. Um, again, the total amount the staff recommends the board prove is $18,517.56. Um, and with that, that is the end of my presentation. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Is there any questions or Supervisor Sabate? Yeah, just global questions. I appreciate, um, I, I remember we brought this up and signed a contract for 70,000 with Lake Construction to be able to, or Lake Marine Construction to be able to do this. Uh, so appreciate seeing the uh, results uh, happening. Uh, curious about two things. One, is this completely isolated to water resources or is this in collaboration with code enforcement as well? And then my second question is, if the lien is paid, does this go back in a revolving fund to be able to continue to do cleanups on the lake? Or is that something that we just need to approve for in our uh, budgets? Um, that is the goal, to make it a revolving fund. Um, so once it does go there, uh, I'll bring another item to start that revolving fund. That is the goal. Um, we did receive an additional 250000 to um, uh, complete additional abatements through the California Natural Resource Agency. Um, so those will be going on in the future. Appreciate that. And then the, the former question of, is this in collaboration with code enforcement oh. at all, or is this uh, simply in water resources? So code enforcement really did help me um, tailor and structure this and gave me a lot of advice. Um, I did try to follow their um, structure and how they did abatements. Um, so um, I did kind of start this from start to finish getting um, funding and the whole presentation, but uh, the code enforcement division and uh, especially Marcus did help with uh, um, the whole process and um, uh, Miss Anita Grant with the legal department did uh, give a lot of uh, advice as well. So I do, I would like to acknowledge uh, their help as well. All right. Thank you so much. Any other questions? Is there anyone in the public that has a comment for this? All right, I'll bring it back to the board for action. And then if anybody wants to make the uh, motion for me, I'm fine with that. I just need to find out how much it is again. 
Oh, sorry, he took it off the screen. <laughs> Can you see it again? Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, I move to approve the assessment for the property um, submitted to us for the total amount of $18,517.56. And the property is 7137 East State Highway 20 in Lucerne, California. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And motion carries.